Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. I'm so excited for the painting we're doing today. It's an easy and beautiful way to paint lilacs. Let's get started and make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe. For supplies today, we need watercolor paper. Mine is cut to the size of eight by 10 so I can easily frame it when I'm done. I have a large brush for washes and a small brush for detail work. I also have a pencil, a clean glass of water, a paper towel, and watercolor paints already mixed with water and ready to go. For the colors, I have dark purple, light purple, which is actually the exact same color as the dark, except it just has more water. I have brown, dark green, green, yellow green, and yellow. So before we get started painting, let's do a quick light pencil sketch of our lilacs. For the lilacs, I'm just gonna quickly doodle the outside area for the lilacs followed by a nice stem and leaves on each lilac as shown here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is paint a wash for the background using just water first. Now I'm not gonna paint clear to the edge of my paper, just closer around the lilacs. Now you'll want to avoid painting water on the lilacs themselves, but you can just paint right over the stems and leaves. After you've got water around your lilacs, take some green and just dab some paint in a few places, allowing it to spread. You can also add some yellow too. Now while your background is still a little wet, if you want to, you can try adding a few splatter marks to some of the background edges. Load a brush with green or even some purple and use your finger to flick the bristles. After my splatters were done, I decided to go back in and just add a touch of purple and brown to the background. Be careful not to put too much though. This next part is optional, but while my background is still slightly wet, I'm gonna create a few leaves that will be the same or almost the same color as the background, so they will be barely noticeable. I'm gonna let them just blend in and blur with the paint that's already there. After the background is completely dry, let's do a light wash of purple on the lilacs. Start with just water first, then add some light purple. After your initial purple wash is down, you can add a few more dabs of purple to the left side and the bottoms of each lilac to give it a shadow effect and to help separate the two lilacs. Next, I'm gonna add a few dots of the light purple color at the tops of each lilac just to add a little bit more detail. While we let the lilacs dry completely, let's paint the branches or stems of the lilacs using green or dark green. Then while that paint is still wet, take some brown and paint a thin line off to the left side of each branch. Thank you. 
Now let's start painting the leaves. I'm painting the stems first and then I'll paint a few of the background leaves with yellow green. Next, I'll paint a couple of the leaves with the pure green color, and the last most foreground leaves, dark green. Now let's go back and put the finishing touches on our lilacs. To start with, we're going to take our pencil and lightly draw some four-petaled small flowers like this. When you're ready, go ahead and draw them all over your lilacs. Try to draw them fairly close together. After you've got all the little flowers drawn, take a small thin paintbrush and using your dark purple paint, paint the space between and around the flowers you drew. This will make them stand out. Also add some water to the paint as you spread it off to the right side, leaving the left side darker to enhance the look of the shadow. Now that that is done and dry, we're going to paint some four petaled flowers right on top to give our painting depth and dimension. Start by painting flowers with light purple paint more off to the right side with a few in the middle. When you feel like you've painted enough of the light purple, Paint some dark purple four petaled flowers off to the left side with a few in the middle. And as a side note, if you ever feel like your paint is too dark or too much, use a paper towel and dab it lightly to remove some color or excess water. When you're done with your first lilac, paint the second in the same way. And here is your beautiful lilac painting. If yours didn't turn out quite right the first time, don't be afraid to try this again. I hope you'll check out more of my drawing and painting tutorials. And if you enjoyed this lilac tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.